Hey guys, even here, today we are only 4 days out of Adult Classic UK and we are weeks out of some other really awesome shows, so in today's video we're gonna do some physique updates, we are not gonna be talking about Samson Daura, today is his birthday, so we're gonna give him a break today, <laughs> just kidding, there's just nothing about Samson right now, if I learn something new I'm gonna make a video about it, so if you wanna hear more about that, stay tuned, subscribe, but now, now let's go, let's take a look at what some of these bodybuilders are looking right now, and the first First one is Gudubito, who is four weeks out of Arnold Classic Brazil or Arnold Classic South America. And at this point, we already know who he is going against. He's going against Rafael Brandau, who was just amazing at the Arnold Classic, super improved, had literally no weak poses, like Tyler Mannion says. So it's gonna be very difficult for Gudubito to beat Rafa, but, but I wouldn't be counting out Gudubito yet. We're gonna talk about Rafa as well in this video, but first, good Vito. Like I said, I'm not counting out this guy out of conversation for the potential winner of Arnold Brazil. I know how good Rafa is, but, you know, he doesn't have this bodybuilder-esque look, if you know what I mean. Like, he doesn't have this crazy pop everywhere. You guys know how much we were surprised when we saw Rubiel Mosquera on the stage when we saw Horse MD at Romania Pro when he was in condition, when we saw Carrizo for the first time, when we saw Andrew Jacked at Texas Pro, like, you never know, these guys, these new guys, they can either be super surprising or they can be disappointing. What is the case with Guduito? I don't know yet, but I think this guy is gonna surprise pleasantly. Now, I mentioned Horse MD, he's also doing the Arnold Classic Brazil, I'm not gonna make the same mistake and have high expectations from this guy, I don't know what went wrong, but he wasn't on for the Arnold Classic, and just overall, his size and his structure and shape, it just wasn't good enough to go against the big boys, so he really fooled us, all of us, basically, everybody had him in their top 5 prediction. But he ended up placing uh, second to last. So, as far as the Arnold Classic Brazil, I have him in my top four, third or fourth, probably. But as far as top two, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be Rafael Brandau and this guy right here, Good Vito. And I don't know if somebody else shows up, but as far as the guys we know, I think this is your top two. Now, Good Vito, like I said, he has that crazy shape, crazy pop everywhere. Rafael Brandau doesn't have popping lats like this. His waist is not this small compared to his shoulders, and his quads are not popping out this much. His biceps are not this peaky, his triceps are not hanging this low. I think Gudwito is a lot shorter than Rafa, so he's probably gonna look less imposing on the stage, and as far as conditioning, I'm assuming they're gonna be pretty equal. But if Gudwito brings it, if he peaks right, if he is at his 100%, I don't know, guys. I don't know, I think it's very, very possible for this guy to win, to beat Rafael Brandau. I mean, based on the photos. And like I said, you never know when it's a case like this. This guy can be fifth, or he can win the show. Who thought Andrew Jack is gonna dominate Texas Pro like he did? Nobody saw that coming. But he did look impressive in the photos. So when it comes to this guy, again, anything is possible. I think the chances of him winning or placing like fifth are 50-50, literally. Okay, maybe less, because Rafael Brandau is a pretty safe bet, but guys, it's not impossible for this guy to surprise and to win the whole thing and beat Rafa. You never know, you never know, you can't say it's impossible, but, you know, we'll see in four weeks from now. But like I said, Rafael Brandau is a pretty safe bet. He is probably the biggest, the most pleasant surprise of the Arnold Classic. In a recent Menace podcast, Neil Hill uh, showed up for a moment and he basically said that Rafael added like 12 pounds of muscle in this offseason. You know, he looked impressive, he looked improved in every single body part. His shoulders were super round, his back was so much better, especially the upper back, his arms were bigger, he was just fuller everywhere, legs were also bigger. There is still more room for improvements, and if he does make those improvements, and again, Neil Hill says that it's gonna take them about 2 years or 18 months at least to make those improvements, to add like 7 to 8 pounds more, and then, you know, to be potentially, you know, a contender to win the Mr. Olympia, you know, to be like a top 3 guy, I mean, I know exactly what kind of improvements he needs to make, but even like this, without any improvements, he's really good, and he's potentially a top 6 Olympian, I can see him up there, 
Now, as far as Harun Brazil, yeah, he's most likely winning it. I mean, he's definitely the heavy favorite, and right now he's rebounding from uh, Arnold Classic, and he has four weeks. So he can actually, you know, take those two weeks, first two weeks, and actually try to put on some muscle. I mean, it's really hard to put any muscle on uh, in such a short time, but, like, maybe he can get, you know, a little bit fresher, a little bit fuller, and then, you know, dry out before the show, and potentially this could be even better version of Rafael Brando. I don't know if it's possible, because he really peaked well for the Arnold, but we'll see. I think he's gonna be either the same or better, or bigger and fuller. So, again, he's most likely going to win the show, yes, I'm aware of that, but good Vito looks amazing right now, and he's going to push him. Rafael can't relax and just cruise into the show, because the other guy is knocking at his door. Alright, next we got a little physique update in the pose, in a quarter turn, of Nick Walker. His coach, Matt Jansen, just posted his uh, quarter turn to the right or to the left, I'm not sure, but, you know, in this one, Nick is looking really good, like, he looks really freaking thick. You know, this guy is about 10 weeks out of New York Pro, and, yeah, I can say with certainty, this guy is taking that win. I don't care who shows up, if it's gonna be Rubio Mosquera, uh, Guduito, I don't know, Rafael Brandau, it doesn't really matter... I mean, Nick Walker is like a top 3, at least top 4 guy in the world, and potentially like the best bodybuilder, he can win the Mr. Olympia, if he's a little bit lucky, if the other guys maybe are a little bit off and he's on, it's possible, he's that good, guys, and he knows if he loses New York Pro, he loses a lot of stock, if he does that, if he loses at that show, he's most likely never gonna win the Mr. Olympia, I mean, it's still possible, but... He is losing a lot of ground, and, you know, he is the kind of guy that was probably supposed to get an invitation for the Mr. Olympia. He wasn't even supposed to do a qualifier. He decided to do it. So, if he is doing it, then he needs to do it right. He needs to come in at 100%. He needs to be on. He needs to be ready. And, you know, knowing Nick Walker, he is gonna take this seriously. Like, he takes everything seriously as far as bodybuilding. He is not gonna go, like, cruise into the show and look whatever. He is not gonna take this lightly. Even though there is probably nobody who can really challenge him. Even if he was at like 90, 80, 70%, he could still win? I mean, who can really challenge him? Tony Burton? Come on, come on. I tried to make some hype for that, but it's pointless. I don't think I'm gonna try again. I think Nick Walker is in a league of his own as far as this show. So yeah, I think he's gonna win this easily. Like I said, in this, in this shot, in the quarter turn, he looks good. He's definitely getting conditioned. He's 10 weeks out. And there is still a lot of time for him to get ripped completely. I'm curious to see how good will he be. It's been a while since we saw this guy on stage. It was the Arnold Classic 2023, guys. So it's been over a year now. And I think he made some solid improvements. So I'm really curious to see him finally shredded, finally peaked. You know, he did a guest posing, but it's not the same. And he had an injury very close to that guest posing. So he wasn't, you know, at his best. This New York Pro, and I hope the lighting is going to be good. This will probably be Nick at his best. I can't wait to watch that. All right, now let's talk about Arnold Classic UK. Like I said, we don't have anything about Samson Dauda. Nothing new, at least for this video. We know his wife is prepping him for this show. Milos is out of the picture. Uh, he is fine health-wise. So he's most likely going to win the show if Hardy doesn't show up. Hardy has some visa issues. If Hardy doesn't show up, Samson wins it. If Hardy does show up, Samson is top two. And now we can talk about who places third. In this video, we're gonna talk about Akeem Williams because we got a couple of physique updates and I think this guy is beating everybody at the Arnold Classic UK aside from Hardy Japan and Samson Dauda. I think, I hope he figured it out. He made some sort of a mistake, some terrible mistake for the Arnold Ohio and he was off, off, all the way off for the pre-judging. And then at the finals, he nailed it. That was the best Akeem Williams I ever saw. He was freaking rock hard throughout the entire freaking physique. Shoulders, arms, chest, quads, glutes, even the back looked probably the best ever, because when he's conditioned, his back is looking much better than when he's not. Of course, it's the case with everybody, but especially with him. 
and he was freaking shredded, man, he was peeled, and he was massive, he had that bodybuilder-esque look, like I said, the reason why he didn't beat Rafael Brandao is because he has some weak poses, unlike Rafa, who is perfect, basically, from every angle, so Rafa wins majority of the poses, but in some poses, Akeem Williams pretty much can beat anybody, literally anybody today, I can see him beating Samson, I can see him beating Hardy, I can see him beating Derek Lunsford, I can see him beating everybody in the world right now in some poses, like side chest for example, because he has too much muscle man, it's crazy, and especially from the side, his legs are looking crazy, the quads are having this insane height, and they look rock hard as well, and also his chest is insane, his shoulders, I mean, look at his rear delts, how separated they are from the rest of his body, arms also, this is a recent photo right now, so he is nailing it, this guy is bringing it, I just hope his peak week is gonna go well, and he's gonna bring something like this again, if he does that, I think James Hollinshead can't beat this guy, I don't think John De La Rosa can either, Rafael Brandao is not doing this show, so who's left? Hart is most likely not competing, so I think it's gonna be Akim versus Samson, if Akim brings it like he did here, hopefully he'll learn how to do this, hopefully he can repeat, here is another physique update of his back, again, his back is bad, like it's not a good back, but when he's lean, it actually looks decent, especially with those freaking shoulders and those glutes and that lower back like erectors, uh, hamstrings, calves also looking sick, so if he looks like this, I don't think he needs to do anything drastic, like he's already in a very good shape, so if he brings it, let's say at least 95%, yeah, I think this guy's gonna be top 2 at the Arnold Classic, if Hardy doesn't show up, if he does, again, right after Hardy and Samson, I think he's beating both James and John right now, because, again, look at this, look at it, this is crazy, but we'll see what those guys can bring, and I'm sure I'm gonna make a video about them in future, we'll see, I think those guys can improve as well, so it's gonna be a very interesting show, Arnold Classic UK, guys, stay tuned for the best coverage on YouTube, in only a couple of days you're gonna watch that show, it's gonna be very exciting, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best, and bye-bye.